Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, a weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are Delhi Chief Minister and Ahmadmi Party leader Arvind Kejriwal was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in an excise policy linked money laundering case on March 21st. Chief Minister Kejriwal withdrew his plea at the Supreme Court challenging ED's arrest. The CM was produced before a special PMLA court by the ED today to obtain his remand for custodial interrogation. Earlier on 21st March, the Delhi High Court had rejected a plea seeking protection for the Delhi Chief Minister from coercive action in the excise policy linked money laundering case. Ahmadmi Party leader Arvind Kejriwal became the first sitting Chief Minister to have been arrested. Following this, the Enforcement Directorate began conducting searches at the Delhi Chief Minister's residence in civil lines. The Chief Minister had till now skipped nearly nine ED summons issued to him in the money laundering case. On directors of the Supreme Court, the State Bank of India today submitted all details on electoral bonds to the Election Commission. The data includes the all-important serial numbers for the bonds, which will help match the donors with the political parties that were the recipients. The SBI also submitted an affidavit of compliance to the Supreme Court and the details given by the bank are expected to be uploaded by the Election Commission on its website. The SBI had earlier given two lists to the Election Commission, which were released by the poll panel on its website on March 14. On Monday, the Supreme Court had asked the SBI to disclose all details related to electoral bonds, including the serial numbers, and also file an affidavit to that effect. The direction had come in response to a petition against the incomplete data provided by the bank. The United States has reiterated its recognition of Arunachal Pradesh as an Indian territory and voiced strong opposition to any unilateral attempts by China to advance territorial claims across the line of actual control. The statement from the Biden administration official follows recent remarks from the Chinese military reaffirming its claim over the northeastern state, which resurfaced after Prime Minister Modi visited the region to inaugurate development projects. The State Department Principal Deputy Spokesperson emphasized the United States' position, stating, The United States recognizes Arunachal Pradesh as an Indian territory and we strongly oppose any unilateral attempts to advance territorial claims by incursions or encroachments, military or civilian, across the line of actual control. The first look update of the Indian spin-off Citadel starring Varun Dhawan and Samantha Ruth Prabhu is finally here. On Tuesday, Prime Video India shared the first poster of the upcoming series, much to the delight of fans who have been looking forward to watching the show. The announcement revealed the title of the show, Citadel Honey Bunny. Created by the Russo brothers, Citadel premiered exclusively on Prime Video in April 2023. Richard Madden and Priyanka Chopra played two elite agents named Mason Kane and Nadia Sin, respectively in the spy agency Citadel. In a significant move ahead of the upcoming IPL 2024 season, Ruturaj Gaikwad has been appointed as the new captain of the Chennai Super Kings CSK, replacing the legendary MS Dhoni. The announcement was made after Gaikwad attended the captain's meeting for this year's competition in Chennai on Thursday. MS Dhoni, who has been at the helm of CSK, since its inception, relinquishes his captaincy role after leading the team for five IPL titles, making him one of the most successful captains in the history of franchisee cricket. 